Hey guys, Ashley here. Welcome to another video. And this time it is the uninformed redesign of the Nissan Proto Z. And we're going straight into that problem area that was the lower feature line and highlight. You can see in just a second that I'm going to drag the highlight area from the front bumper, the light catcher, all the way through. I'm going to choose that instead of that shoulder line. I think it's going to give it some more stance. And already you can see the difference that it actually makes when I zoom out here. To that, to that presence on the road, moving the highlight um, of the kink and that exposed fender area towards the high point. Just again, adjusting the weight of that reflection, keeping it towards the rear end, considering we have lost that kind of droop towards it. Uh, but I think it works really nicely. Uh, moving on to the second problem area, which was a C pillar, where I think two designers couldn't make their mind up and thought stuff, let's go for uh, something in between. I chose to go into the, uh, go to more, more towards the steeper C pillar, giving it more weight and stance towards uh, on the rear of it, uh, rear of that arch. It just gives it a bit more, a bit more presence, more direction and it just looks more resolved you don't need that much uh, DLO space I don't think of that profile uh, on this sort of vehicle and it was made clear to me that I um, that this horrific weird chrome strip uh, was there I hadn't even noticed it if I'm completely honest in my first video hence why I didn't mention it it doesn't really have a place there's no chrome on this vehicle uh, that I can see apart from the badges so it feels like a weird choice that they dropped that there so getting rid of that I think cleans it up you know dropping that nice black pack and then doing something I didn't expect to do when I was looking at it. I thought I what it would be, wondered what it would be like to edit this light area, just to soften that curve ever so slightly and mimicking the subtle bonnet dive, almost a mirror of it and just tweaking the, obviously the headlight area to, to reflect that surface below it. You'll see here now just making fine, fine adjustments uh, to, this, to this C pillar. I think it really works, I, I genuinely, wish they'd done this after doing this it's one of those uh kind of missed opportunities but hey ho maybe they might see this video and change it um and you, already you can see that whole chain that just those subtle changes have made such a difference uh move around to the front area again you can see how drastic that dive off towards the rear of that feature line is and how big of a change this is going to make in just a couple of minutes as I uh, drop in that shadow it just it just gives it more more stance uh, I know I keep saying that but it baffles me to to wonder why they chose that feature in the first place other than just keeping the shoulder feature um, in mind but you know hey ho it is what it is uh, what I'm going to do now uh, seeing as this is a lot of the same from the first part of the video I'm just going to let, uh, just going to shut up and let you enjoy the little process uh, or please do feel free to fast forward a little bit uh, towards the rear of the vehicle where some changes are made <music>
And the final area that we're going to tweak in this video was this cabin area. We spoke about how we wanted to taper in, or I thought um, it would be a good idea to taper in the rear cabin. Now, obviously, by doing this, they would have lost out on some interior space, primarily the boot space. Um, but there's not much that I think you'd be packing into this vehicle that is going to go much higher than, obviously, those that windscreen and losing out five mil on either side i don't think would be a massive difference but it would make a huge difference to the dynamacy of the vehicle from certain angles obviously when you're standing up or taking photos from uh, from a higher angle it would just give it i think a bit more direction uh, a nice taper towards the rear always gives it some uh, some stance it would elongate the rear even more pushing out those lights further or the illusion of doing so giving again five mil to the wheel arches to the top of the wheel arch is never a bad thing um, you're always just going to benefit i think in terms of aesthetics and something that i don't think is going to be super practical in the first place granted it will be a daily but you're not going to be packing in you know two weeks worth of holidays so losing on a couple of a couple of liters of boot space i don't think will hurt anyone in this vehicle and already you can see the difference only subtle but it makes it and then just going back into this area, realizing I'd forgotten to taper in uh, this originally on the, on the front view. And you'll see here already that it just kicks out that rear, that rear arch, just that little bit more, makes all the difference. And onto the comparisons. The difference I think genuinely is night and day, in my opinion, the C pillar looks so much better with a bit more weight to it and a bit more confidence in the form. The feature line, more than anything, gives it a proper direction following on from that bumper highlight and shifting that the actual highlight area of the that high point just below the feature line i think really helps again keeps that weight towards the rear which we want uh, in that area that exposing the side splitter i think works quite nicely as well as that subtle change to the headlight and then moving on to the rear cabin taper subtle but the difference is i think clear and getting rid of that chrome strip really made a difference also. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really appreciate your support on the last one. And if you did enjoy, leave a like, drop a comment if you had any opinions, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.